Hello all, I would like to share details of a bow and spear build that I've been using for those considering to use these weapons during lunch. I've yet to give a name to this build, so feel free to leave suggestions in the comments below. Let's first talk about the role and purpose of this build. It is in essence a ranged DPS with access to plenty of crowd control abilities. This build has high mobility and is ideal for skirmishes where you only engage a handful of opponents at a time. Although it performs reasonably well in a 1 vs 1 setting, it shines when paired with a Great Axe user. The general idea is to assist the team by stunning or knocking down opponents caught in a gravity well. Even if you don't have friends, many players use the Great Axe and you will find many opportunities to support them. When it is too dangerous to be in the front lines, you can support the back line by peeling melee enemies off your healers and other ranged DPS. As such, you need good communication skills and awareness to fulfill your role. As a DPS, you want to get headshots whenever possible to do maximum damage. The following are my recommended choices for active skills. Javelin, Sweep and Vault Kick for the Spear and Evade Shot for Bow. You can choose to fill up the remaining two active skills with whatever you like, but I recommend Poison Shot and Penetrating Shot. Mastery points are allocated to unlock active abilities first. Once that is done, skills are selected to improve cooldown reduction, mobility, crowd control capabilities before increasing damage. Assigning the mastery points in this order should provide an advantage with PvP early in the game. I've included the details with regards to mastery point allocation in the description below. Let's now talk about the usage of active skills. Javelin, Sweep and Vault Kick are your go-to abilities for crowd control. Sweep is best used when your opponents are caught in a gravity well. Do try to do it from behind them so that the ability doesn't get blocked. If you can't get into position in time, you can use the Javelin instead. The Javelin also works well to stop your opponent from advancing and can even interrupt abilities. Note that you can follow up with an arrow shot with your bow for extra damage if you are quick enough. Vault Kick is great for closing the distance when you're already close to the enemy. I find it is best used after dodging an enemy attack and you can follow up with light attacks if you hit. Evade Shot allows you to deal damage to your opponent while creating distance at the same time. With the skirmisher perk Go The Distance, you can also get a boost in haste. Poison Shot is valuable in many ways. Area denial, tracking, and preventing your opponent from getting healed through food are some of the best reasons to pick this skill. Lastly, we have Penetrating Shot, a single hard-hitting ranged attack that you can use to finish off your opponents. This ability can be executed quickly and will not root you in place. As such, you can use it in combat even while you are under pressure. I would now like to share some additional tips for using this build. Stay on the move. Stationary targets are easy to hit. Stray from side to side as you should to make yourself a more difficult target. Arrows and spear throw take time to hit your opponent. You need to aim ahead considering their movement speed, direction and latency. Whenever possible, dodge an enemy attack before using a spear ability. Doing so will reduce spear ability cooldowns and provide a damage buff thanks to the perk's aggressive maneuvers and evasive tactics. Perk Continuous Motion reduces the cooldowns of other spear abilities whenever you land your Vault Kick ability. Prioritize the use of other spear skills first to benefit from this. Use light attacks instead of heavy ones when using the spear to benefit from additional cooldown reductions via the perk Refreshing Jabs. I will now share some gameplay footage of duels against players using other weapons. Some of these players are a lot better than me and have beaten me many times. The purpose of these clips is to help you understand some of the tactics you can use to fight against players like them. When fighting against someone using two melee weapons, try your best to use mobility to keep a distance while doing damage with your bow. Do not consider engaging in melee unless Vault Kick or Sweep is off cooldown. Pay attention to what your opponent is doing and use your dodge sparingly. Since the hammer abilities are flashy and take a while to execute, ensure that you are always ready to evade them. I found that I had better success with dealing with hammer users by avoiding melee combat as much as possible. 
you will get punished severely if you get hit by any crowd control abilities and on top of that, they will get a haze buff. That being said, it is possible as long as you successfully hit them with your crowd control abilities first. Rapier users are generally mobile since most players will use the abilities Flash and Evade. Always be on the lookout for the ability Repost. Anticipate that it will be used when a rapier user is near you. A good counter is to dodge away and use Spear Troll when it happens. When fighting a musket user, I prefer to engage them at either melee or close range. As the musket is a hit scan weapon, engaging users from far with a bow is disadvantageous. Since most musket users are usually in light or medium armor, landing a knockdown or stun with the spear will allow you to dish out a lot of damage. Against a fire staff and ice gunlet user, I have found some success with engaging them in melee. The tricky part is getting into melee range safely. At range, it boils down to who is more accurate. Prioritize dodging incoming abilities while you look for an opportunity to knock the opponent down. Getting hit by any of the Ice Gunlet's AoE abilities will slow you down and possibly root you in place, making it fatal. I hope this video has been helpful. I expect changes to be made over time as I gain more experience. I want to give a big shout out to Cyrus, Beardlord, David Honeycomb and Miracle for dueling me dozens of times and beating me which helped me learn how to fight better. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Do click the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video and would like more videos like this in the future.